Good morning and welcome to Live in a Greenhouse on YouTube. If you're new here, this channel is about my journey to design, build, and then live in the first greenhouse enclosed tiny home in the United States. I'm celebrating hitting 1,000 subscribers, so welcome to the new subscribers since the last progress video. It would be great if you would post in the comments what country you're watching from so I can welcome you personally to the channel. Also, a big thank you to the longtime followers. I can't tell you how much I appreciate your support. I especially appreciate questions in the comments because it lets me know what people are interested in and what I should go into more detail on Live in a Greenhouse, the blog. The link is in the description below. Returning to where we left off on the progress videos, the house is pretty much done and I'm still unpacking stuff recently moved from my storage unit. Miscellaneous furniture is still in the greenhouse sitting area waiting for a home. The building inspector only comes to this island a couple days per week, so stay tuned for a whirlwind of jobs to finish the punch list to prepare for the inspector. <laughs> Dave will start preparing inside to bring in fill dirt while Matt works outside. We need to build up along the edge of the wheelchair ramp before covering the entire area with mulch that's required for erosion control to pass the inspection. Not fast motion video. Matt really is running with a full wheelbarrow. I'll need a lot of mulch to cover bare dirt outside and inside the greenhouse. Fortunately, Olson's tree service dropped off another load of chips just in time. I'm in the process of staining the guardrail while the good weather holds out. The entire floor of the greenhouse will be raised between six to eight inches, which will take more soil than I have money or time for right now. So for now, we'll use fill quality dirt to raise only what is necessary to pass inspection. These shelves will stay for seed trays, but this pile of materials is what is left to install. Cardboard acts as a weed block and isolates the construction hard pan from material brought in for raised beds and paths. The septic on this property was installed around 30 years ago, and the septic inspector said the dirt on the sand filter has compacted too much, so that has to be dug out and replaced. Nate prepares the approach to the sand filter by alternately filling wheelbarrows for Matt to haul inside and building up the bank along the greenhouse's southwest corner. Code requires bringing dirt level with the concrete at the doors, so Nate used the backhoe to fill wheelbarrows for Matt to bring inside. Rinse and repeat several times.
Of course there were rocks to move first. When are there not rocks to move on my property? These rocks were stacked here while building the greenhouse pad because we thought they'd be out of the way. But this project has just kept expanding. After the dirt, then a layer of wood chips outside and inside. On to leveling the north side of the greenhouse pad and placing rocks to stabilize the bank. So glad to see this leave. The drinking fountain will go here at the end of the potting bench with a custom concrete base. Nate digs the hole for the post and drain. I found a crystal chandelier at a Seattle salvage store that will hang over the seating area. It'll be a little tricky to position it in a location without a brace and to get power to it, but Matt has a plan. The basin is a copper bowl that came from my grandparents' yard that needs a little adjustment for a larger dispenser piece. Then on to connecting the hot and cold water for the sink and the potting bench. The goal was to do this as inexpensively as possible, so the base units came from my grandparents' house. The sink and taps came from a local free pile and the rest from leftover materials from the house build. While Matt worked on the sink, Nate prepared the sauna tube.
Then it was concrete time. The PVC pipe will be the basin's drain pipe. Steel um, knee brace, which is fine. I can build that. And then I just, I was like, well, we have these. Okay, so the idea is these would two horizontal. would be attached to the horizontal, horizontal and this would be attached to yep, the middle the vertical. vertical. Yep. Yeah, that seems a lot simpler. While Nate worked on concrete, Matt installed the custom bracket to hold the fan on the west end. The fountain is one thing I didn't design within an inch of its life. I'm leaving it up to Matt to design how to put it all together. What a good idea. Nate moved on to barricades around the ponds and pool that are required to pass inspection. while Matt installed a bracket to hold a fan on the east end of the greenhouse. Yet another simple but elegant and useful solution by Matt. He cut this piece of scrap plywood so I can level the corner with the concrete, and voila, the hutch now has a home across the corner. And there you have it. By the end of the day, the final preparations were ready for the inspector, including my tagger signature. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share with your friends. And come back next time for all the gory details from the inspection.